it's a lot of guys that are crying out for drug addiction and, and uh, maybe family problems and maybe having guilt over their crimes and everything. But uh, the ladies in, in the religion programs involved is really helping these guys uh, find themselves and molding and shaping them in the spiritual sense. Any correctional facility or detention center is deeply grateful to volunteers who strive to reach out and make a difference in the lives of residents and detainees. At the Marshall County Correctional Facility in Holly Springs, Mississippi, the full-time chaplain is particularly grateful for the wide variety of faith-based volunteers he's been able to coordinate with. We try to uh, adapt to whatever need there is for any type of service that we can that's authorized by the state of Mississippi for religious programming and faith-based. So we just keep on doing what we're doing and it keeps expanding and getting better and bigger. And Faith-based volunteers are involved and help facilitate all types of worship. It's a good, good thing to have religious services in prison and, and we're blessed with, with a great set of classes and a chaplain that's on board and a warden that supports us in every way. We care about these men and we want to encourage them and we want them to have changed lives. It shows you the, uh, the heart. It shows you these individuals, their passion, their call on their life to come in and touch folks within this environment. And it's, it's, everyone can't do it. So when you have a group of people who are that compassionate about helping these men in any way they can, it shows a lot. You know, sometimes words can't even explain, you know, how my life has been so touched by uh, being in these classes, and it's just been awesome. And, and, and it not just changed my life, but I've seen the many people alive that didn't change around this whole prison. I feel so appreciated. I feel so blessed and so privileged to be, or uh, to have these uh, young ladies and men to be in my life. The COVID-19 pandemic created great challenges as the volunteers were not able to enter the facility for a good while, yet they continued serving the men in any way they could. Uh, we would not be as successful in our providing therapeutic rehabilitative opportunities to these offenders that we are without our volunteers and their presence. These folks are here. Rain, snow, sleet, they are here. Everyone who works here treats me like I'm part of this place and I'm just, I'm so grateful to be here.